To hear others in this park with an uncle, and welcome back. It's been a very long time since I recorded. I think it's been about two months or something. It's 10:41 a.m. on a something or other after uh, um, Thursday, July 18th. Finally recording. Hopefully this um, recording will go out today. I was having some problems earlier with DX Tori, and I will explain that as I'm going. As you can see I've started a couple of new worlds. In fact, Survival Let's Play is pretty far down there now. Played Fruto, plus the Palace Adventure Map and New World. These are my three main worlds right here. These three. And Survival Let's Play is finally going to be played yet again. So, let's talk about those issues that I was just talking about. As we, uh, um, oh, before we do that, uh, it is. I'm going to die, aren't I? Now, I think we have a bit of an issue. Because I don't have all the mods. So, um, yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. So, a bit of world corruption here. Because of the fact that, um, there's been some world corruption. So, uh, none of this exists anymore. And I wouldn't be surprised if there's going to be some major problems as far as the home goes. Because I've, I, you know. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, Hippie House, uh, we'll just say that was hit with a bomb. Yeah. Uh, the Hippie House was bombed in the Vietnam War, in Vietnam, and, uh, it was a tragic accident. Uh, yes, as you can see, uh, gun boxes aren't here, and if I were to look in here, it's just a stick. And also, there should be no airplane over there. I may update to the mod again, I'm not sure. It's also, uh, just the render- oh my god. Um, yeah, okay, that- that would help a little bit. My computer does okay sometimes. Actually, made in 15 FPS. So I mean, they have upgraded performance in recent versions of Minecraft. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Anyway, what we need to do is gonna have four diamonds. So this will actually be a lot easier than I had first thought. Okay, so let's. Uh, as I'm organizing all of my stuff, I'm going to start to talk about what we're going to do. Now, let's talk about what we're going to do. As I had just said. Um, what we are going to do is, let's see if I have a separate chest for cobblestone, because it has been quite a while since I've played on this map, and I'm so freaking happy to do it again! Ah, what are you talking to? Just, just a boy voice! Um, anyway, see, so yeah, I'm really happy to do this again. It was, it's been quite a while, and I'm extremely happy as I've already said. Uh, we're only getting 7 FPS on the file, 13 on the video. Um, I, I, okay. I'm getting completely confused here, completely ahead of myself. Let, let's just get everything thrown in here, and I'll talk as I explore. Because that's what we're going to be doing today. What we are going to be doing is we're going to be collecting some obsidian for another portal. Now you might be saying, now you might be saying, hey Arcanine! Hey Arcanine! Well, didn't you just make a portal using buckets of lava and water? And you would be correct, I did. Now, the problem is, we're going to be using the nether portal to quick travel. And I'll explain how that works right now. So, um, with the nether portal, you can quick travel, as in, when you go into the nether, the, when you go into the nether, uh, each block you move in the nether counts as 16 above. So moving one block in the nether would be like me using an ender portal to, like, teleport over here or something. Meaning you can travel extremely far distances uh, in a short amount of time if you go into the nether. Uh, of course, it is a bit dangerous down there, but that's okay. Um, so, what we are going to do is we're going to be collecting some obsidian here, and we're going to be using that obsidian uh, to make a nether portal, and then we're going to go into the nether and find our way through heading probably, let's see, I'm thinking I want to head north. I haven't had I haven't gone very far north. Um, so, I think that'll be good. Uh, so yes, we're going to need a diamond pick. And, uh, this is 1.6.2. Uh, lapis lily blocks have gotten a bit of a change. But there's a whole ton of new crap. So what we need to do is go find slime. And, the reason we're going to be going to find slime is, um, 
because we need a slime ball for a lead. And leads are what we need to get horses. Right. So now I actually need to, to like, let's get some coal, because I'm going to need to leave a torch trail. I don't, I don't have, like, a waypoint set anymore. <laughs> so. Let's run through the chests. I want to show off a new feature for you guys in 1.6.2. You can make a coal block. Don't really need to do that, but it's good to know. It uh, smells like 102 items or something. I, I don't know. It's better than a lava bucket, and it's also a lot safer to get. So, we have to head through all of, all of this crap, and then we're going to go caving. So, um, does help to uh, get a diamond pickaxe when you're aiming to uh, get obsidian, if you know what I mean. Oh, okay. Well, here, let's talk about some new features of 1.6. So, obviously, horses, that's what we're going to get. And, um, so yeah, that's kind of cool. Uh, let's actually type out our coordinates right now. So, let's see, okay, so, negative 60, negative 99. Oh, okay, good. So, negative 60, negative 99. Good, okay, so now I'll actually know where I am. Because I'll just be able to open up the chat and see that. Good. Right, so, just anything else in the furnaces? Got a bit of coal. Ooh, good chicken. That's always going good. That's also, yeah, I'm, I'm not really very well prepared here. I'm checking the armor. Uh, it, it's been, it's seen better days, but I think it should last. Shouldn't, you shouldn't have to see too much of mob fighting. I just want I had steak. I know I had, did I take it? No. <laughs> Lol. Um, so we're going to need three diamonds. And with these three diamonds, we are going to make a diamond pickaxe. Now, I probably had some stuff in the airplane, but screw it. Let's pick up the map, throw this up here. Reload it. Reload it. Okay. Toss it up there. Um, that's fine. Let's jump in bed. And, uh, go! Cool. So! Getting 15 FPS on the video, which is pretty good. 7 on the file still, and I hope that doesn't horribly affect it. Might be pretty laggy, but you know what? Uh, it, it, you should still be able to see, kind of... I, I don't know. It, it's never... It, it's it's gotten better as the versions progress. So. Okay, obviously there's horses. Uh, I know now... I, I know now my, uh where I need to go, and I'll have to head west. I'm not going to use that anymore. I'll just head east into the rising sun. So, uh, 1.6. Well, uh, horses, leads, all that stuff. We're going to have to find a saddle. I didn't even check if we had one, but we aren't really, uh, you know. Yeah, 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 that. Uh, so, yeah, you know. <laughs> uh, we need to jump into a cave here. I also have my trusty bucket of water, so we'll just head through this dud, through the mountain. And now clay. I don't think we're going to need it right now, but I'll keep in mind that it is just down the mountain. Just down the mountain, go five blocks, and then you'll be uh, you'll be fine. It's not really five blocks more. It's, it's, it's a bit more. So yeah, um, I have fog off, which is why you can see quite a bit further than you used to be able to. Although, it is a bit disorienting, because, like, you just see the edge of the world, it's like, oh, crap, and then it loads. So, but well, that, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, we're going to be sprinting a lot here. Look at the, the scenery. So it's good to do that. It's, what, it's a big part of Minecraft, the scenery. That looked like a big cave. My mouse feels really weird, actually. It might not be a bad place to build a little home. Oh, a little massive home. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up! <laughs> um... So yeah, we're going to be jumping into this cave here, we're getting 20 FPS as we go, well, not 20 more, well, 17. Okay, let's talk about zombies. They now have an extremely large aggro distance, and we'll talk about what just happened there as well. Um, so, now, they have more of a horde effect, in that uh, they will come at you from a much further difference, uh, for, much, from a much further difference, uh, from a much further distance. And this means that, like, a zombie that was, like, way over there will actually start coming towards me, rather than one that's just, like, over there being the limit. That's pretty cool. Makes them a lot harder. 
And also, as you just experienced, or saw, with your own, hopefully, two eyes, hope you, hope you guys still have two eyes, uh, 45 for I, th I think we should be fine. Uh, I always do need to call there, but shut, shut up. Um, probably should have brought along my iron. But, um, sometimes when you attack a zombie, it will actually spawn another one. Spawn, it will actually spawn another one. It will actually spawn a new one. It will spawn a friend. They'll call for help, and they'll be like, uh-huh, yeah, uh-huh. And then, and then they'll come, and, and they'll eat you. Um, yeah, I swear. Um, so yeah, that would have killed me. Uh, also, resp I think this might have been actually in the old one, but whatever. Uh, respiration helmets. Well, yeah, duh. Respiration. Uh, now you can, like, see underwater with it. So, um, like, uh, so basically, when you go underwater in Minecraft, the water's all murky, and it's, it's kind of hard to see places, especially when you're deep underwater. But now, you don't have to fear, because... In the new 1.6 update, you can wear a respiration helmet, which is impossibly hard to get sometimes, and then, magically, you'll be able to see underwater! Only 10 easy payments of 19.99. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys have a nice day. Throw, uh, throw your mouse up there, hit that like button, because we are into the next episode. I'm just gonna keep recording. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Goodbye. Ah! Ah!